Hey, 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 guys. I am back. I am back. Can you believe it? I am back. I told you I would be. I am sorry it took me an extra minute or so. I uh, had some phone calls. If you go on over to my Litter to Glitter page, you will see that uh, I have been working on, um, well, I put up a few events and some other stuff. So I have just been rolling right along on this one. And then... So here we go. I'm trying. There we go. All right. So I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. So here is what we did Saturday night on the Dixie Bell page. Hey, Eva girl, we are finishing up this baby. Um, if you didn't catch my live earlier, I did the front and the other side on a live earlier. Uh, give me a second. I'll take this off the tripod so you can see. Hopefully I don't do anything wonky. Because, you know, me and Christina have the best look, luck when it comes to uh, moving around our tripod. So that is one side. And this is what we did today on the front. Still need to get the hardware, but I left the hardware at the house. There you go. And then, hey, I see Ma's on with me on YouTube. And there is the other side. So side and then the front. I've got to get hardware. This is the other side. And now we are going to be finishing up the top as soon as I put this back in my tripod. Come on. Oh, there we are. And if y'all see this, that's the other part of my headphones or my microphone Let's see if I can get that out of the way I've got to find a way to keep that out of my sh out of my shot there we go so what we are doing see we got some other people jumping on love it thank you for showing me that's from Eva girl Carrie says I'm back with you hey Michelle from France I saw you saw the one earlier glad you could jump on over so we're gonna be finishing up the top now um, I got this far on it on the Dixie Bell main page Saturday night. If you know, I was I was at an hour and nine seconds, so I went I went over my time. But I told y'all I'd be coming back, and I'm back. So here we go. What I'm gonna do is I like to I'm gonna put that and line it up. There we go. And I got me the big honking. Well, I don't want that tape. That tape's thin. It doesn't now. So I'm going to use my blue tape. Eek, eek, eek. And I am going to secure the side over here. There we go. And then also, just to make sure, I am going to put some across the stencil right here. I mean, because it has dried since Saturday, so I'm not worried about pulling my gilding wax. If this was something that I did this morning, I would not put my tape over top of this. But just to make sure that it's secured down a little bit more, I wanted to do that. So here we are. Let's finish up. Got to see here. Get to some. Carrie says, I'm back with you from France. Sue, hey, girl. Hey, Sue. Carrie is bonjour, Michelle. Carrie's back. Hey, Eva. Everybody's saying hello to each other. Good for them. Um, while I was uh, gone, I did do a video on this this morning where we did the front and the sides. I just showed the front and sides. When I get done with this, I will show the front and the sides again. And I told you guys 15, 20 minutes, but I had some phone calls to make. I did put up some events for my Dixie Bell main page all next month. Um, they got me those graphics, so I put those up. Uh, let me move. Y'all can, yeah, see, I'm moving this in so I can see you guys. All right. So, again, we're going to stop start off with our copper. And I'm going to tell you guys a mistake that no one has realized that I've made uh, from Saturday night. And um, I will tell you guys that because there's going to be a wax I am not going to use on the top. Can you tell me? 
can you figure out which one I'm not going to be using over here on the top? Anybody? Bueller? Bueller? Because I know most of y'all that have seen this video or watching now have watched the other video from Saturday night. So tell me where I messed up Saturday night when doing the top. Let me know what, what, you're, what you think. And again, I'm going in from the sides to the middle. So I don't push this directly underneath my stencil. Tapping into those corners. The silver, the zinc. Nope. Nope. I used the silver and the zinc on the top. What I did not do because I was so pressed for time and I didn't even realize I did it until I went back to do comments was that on the top, I didn't age any of it with the black wax. So on this top now, I will not be using the black wax because I didn't use it from here over. So I will not be using it on this video as I want my sides. I don't want it to be wonky and half of it look different. But hey, I made a mistake and I will tell you, I made a mistake, but that's okay because I only made the mistake on the top. And again, if somebody's looking that close, give them their complimentary glass of sweet tea and send them out the door. So no rhyme or reason, I'm just adding gilding wax, little pieces of gilding wax in. I just wanna make sure that before the end. Yay, got it. Yeah, Eva Girl said the black. Hey, Zan. Oh, that is right. The black. Yeah, Carrie, I forgot the black. Happy mistake. That's right. And so I used the black on the front and the sides today, and I used it on the side on Saturday, but um, I did, I was kind of in a hurry, and when I got to the top, because I didn't think I was going to have enough time to finish, I was scooting right along and I forgot to use the black. So I will not be using the black this time. So just if you're wondering, I made a mistake and I will admit it. So here we are. If you're wondering why I'm holding down uh, my Mylar stencil for some reason after Saturday night, I don't know what happened. I don't know if a fan blew it off or, but it fell and it's got a little crimp in it and I was going to take it home. But of course I didn't see that it was, it's not crimped. It's just bent, you know? And so with that Mylar, I can stick it between stuff to flatten it out and I was going to take it home tonight since we're closed on Mondays and Tuesdays and do that. But of course I wanted to finish it up, finish this up today so it can set for a few days. And so that's why you see me holding. If I was smart, I would have turned it around and used this side because it's right there. And that's what I thought I did. But, you know, it's me. Never claim to be smart. And accidents happen. No biggie. So a lot of ladies joined me this morning for a nice little chat. It was wonderful. We had a great morning. I figured oh, I'll only be on maybe 20 minutes. Ended up being on for like an hour and a half on my business page this morning where I'm back at you at now. Don't forget to join me, Christina and Jill on Painting with Whiskey tomorrow night at 7 Eastern. That's 6 o'clock Texas time, y'all. Hopefully, Jill has her ear pods in 
and we won't have to do another fundraiser for Jill's earbuds. But it was kind of fun having her on meet last week because uh, she communicated just fine. Oh, wow, guys. Oh, we're actually going to have more fun because y'all can't see it. But give me just a second and I'll show you what I see. So let me move my camera. Look, 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 ladies. Look, I've got a Dixie Bell delivery. So we will crack that bad boy open and see what's in that after I get done with this today. Get the camera back down. Dixie Bell delivery. Thank you so much, hon. Do I need to sign for any of it? Why not? Okay. I'm, I'm not, but let me see here. You got three. That's it. Uh, uh, first initial C. E A R R E R A. Sign right there. Sign. Barcode failed to validate. Okay. Okay. Hold on, guys. I'll get right to you. Did it say that there's six packages? No, that's another one. You got three on me. Okay. Thank you, babe. All right. Thank you. All right, guys, so we got Dixie Bell ooey gooey goodness that just arrived. We'll get to that in just a minute. So we're done with our copper. Elizabeth says they have the wrong address. Dixie Bell delivery is supposed to come to my house. Ah, no. So can't wait to break into those. Okay, so now we're going to our bronze. And like I showed earlier, this is the copper. And the bronze is just a little bit darker tone. But, it, I mean, it's a different, yes, it's a different color. It is bronze, not copper. But the copper, to me, and the bronze uh, are very similar. It's just one is a little bit darker. Now I'm excited. I got my Dixie Bell. Okay, don't rush and make a mistake, Krista. You get to your Dixie Bell when you get... But I don't want to wait to get to mine. Okay. I'm having a midday, midday crisis here. I want to get to my, my delivery. Because I got some fun stuff in there. I got the new transfers. The vintage floral and the cherry blossom is being delivered. And they are in there. So I will be able to pop those open and show you guys. And I was kind of hoping that they were going to come in on Friday, because if they did, we were going to use them this weekend on my Dixie Bell main, but they didn't. So I shifted gears and which is good. Happy accident. We did this project instead. Not a big deal because I think this one was gorgeous said well. So the project that I had planned for this past Saturday, I will plan for this coming Saturday. How about that? And when I switch colors, I will go over and uh, check comments. Like I said, I'm just splotching it in. It's nothing that I am like, it has to be there. It has to be there. That's one of the great things about this type of project. It's free flowing and fun. You put a little bit more on some and a little bit less on others. And it just gives you a great look. So Carrie uh, just sent me some pictures of something that she just picked up. And I can't wait to see what she does with that. Had a beautiful picture of a French cafe, a photograph of a French cafe on the top. And the piece itself, she's going to have to do some work to it, um, but it's pretty. Can't believe she got that photo. It's gorgeous. So I'm looking forward to seeing what she's going to do with that.
Man, I'm excited. Dixie Bell's here. Yes, every time I get a Dixie Bell delivery, it is kind of like Christmas. I admit it. Even though I know it's in the boxes, I ordered it. But it's a beautiful thing. So almost done. I will get to your comments and then I will grab the zinc. Let's do more all over on that one. Maybe yeah, add a little bit more in there. All right. So baby wipe and comments. So um, happy mistake. Oh, Nina's back on from Spain. Uh, Carrie said it was a good mistake. It was lots of fun this morning. Jill said, or Carrie says, oh, poor Jill. It was like charades. Yeah, we were laughing after we got off the live. We were talking. And we're like, yeah, we, she kind of liked playing charades. Uh, so, you know, she said she might not get ear, ear, earbuds and just, uh, you know, just be the mind painter. Um, it was a lot of fun. I just made my first clay base, used glass base, and then used French linen with baking soda. It, you can use baking soda. Um, the only thing with that, Elizabeth, is sometimes if it gets wet or something, um, it gets a little wonky. And so like the Dixie Bell sea spray to give you texture will, um, it's designed not to dissolve. Uh, but I know that before sea spray came along, I used the, uh, I used baking soda as well. Um, my local retail called me Saturday that she had opened her box and got the cherry blossoms in. I was able to get it before she set it up at her two locations. There you go, Carrie. Um, not to cheat on you. You're not cheating on me. Oh, this needs a lot of love. Yes, it does need love. It spoke to me. I've had, I had to have it for the photo. Yeah, her mom was actually at that um, cafe. And so she has her mom at the same cafe that this was on, this picture that she got. was, uh, And so, yeah, she said she had to have it. Gina says she's just joining. Yes, yeah, sometimes, Carrie, it, it can. I mean, it's not an all-the-time thing, but it's one of those things. Why risk it? And so it's not something that's guaranteed will happen, but it's something that could happen. If that makes sense. So we're just adding in some zinc and this will be the end of our colors on the top because I will not be adding black to it to age any of it just because I didn't do that Saturday night. Get down here and I want to make sure that I'm hitting my corners, even though I am filling in with my um, lilac, I do want to make sure that I'm kind of getting my edges just to give it a different feel than just straight lilac all the way around. And so to me, the zinc feels very creamy in comparison to the other ones. It's creamier, and I explained earlier that depending, it's got the same base formula, but depends upon the thickness of the pigments and stuff. It can feel or look different or be a different consistency. If you get one that you feel like is a different consistency, don't freak out. It's not a bad thing. It's just a difference in the pigments. And I was talking about the gemstone mousse, how the gold is very thick, and that's because of the pigmentation. And then adding the zinc and kind of blotting it over some of the other colors will change it and give it a very industrial feel, almost like a patina feel. And so, like I said, you can layer these one over top of the other to get that industrial patina with using gilding wax.
do you have to put it on with the finger? Or can you use a brush? Nina, you can use a brush. You can use, um, you'll see me. I use uh, a, this is what I use to put the lilac on. Um, I just like finger painting, especially in these small areas. If you don't like to get this stuff on your finger, you don't have to. If you're more comfortable wearing gloves, you can wear gloves. That's fine, too. Um, you can use a larger brush to put it on. You can use a um, artist brush to put it on. Uh, I like, I just kind of like for areas like this and playing and layering, I like finger painting. And so I like finger painting with it. And so that's why I am using my fingers on this piece. But if I wanted to, I could very easily grab a crafting brush and use a crafting brush with this with no problems whatsoever. So no, you don't have to use your fingers. I'm just messy like that and I like it. So it was nice, 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 nice. And so we're almost done with the zinc and then I'll fill in with the lilac and then I'll show you guys the whole project. It doesn't have the knobs because, well, I was going a different direction with this to be real honest. And I didn't like it. And so I shifted and decided on this. Um, now before, let me grab my baby wipe. Baby wipe. Get off my, get off there. All right, there we go. Um, now before I do this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it up from the side so you can see the difference between it's where it's just the patina look. And then how it is with the lilac over top. So you'll be able to see side by side what looks more of an industrial, a patina, an age look. And just what it's going to happen when we put the, hey guys, um, putting the lilac wax over top of it. And so that is the difference in what it looks like. This is with the patina look. And this is the look with the lilac over top of it. So you can use this just to get an aged, a patinaed look and not have to worry about it. And then also adding the lilac. So gives you guys a good idea on that. And give me just a second because I am in my shop. I'm going to shut my door real quick. There we go. I got my delivery for the day. And so while I finished this up, uh, cause I've had people walking in behind me and I couldn't see them. And unfortunately Austin is not feeling well. So he made himself a pallet out of uh, painters tarps and has put and is laying in the back room. So yeah, we had to deal with that in between videos as well. He's not feeling well. And I told him that once we got the delivery in and once we got that in the system that we could go home. And so I just got my delivery. So I might be taking Austin home and getting him in bed. So you see, I'm going from the outside in because I don't want to shove underneath of my stencil. So I'm working outside in. With my brush. There we go.
making sure I'm not gunking up my lines. What I mean is that if you go towards the outside, you'll get a crust buildup. And that's what I don't want. So I'm working each side kind of from the outside in. And when you're working in a pattern, it may take you an extra few minutes, but it's worth it to do it like this and then to have that rusty, crusty build up on the sides. You don't want that. Then you have to go back and you have to get your sides while it's still wet and everything else. Thank you, Nina. Yeah, give me just, uh, give me just a second when I finish this, I will go back and show all of it because it will be done except for the curing and the hardware. So I got to figure out what hardware I'm going to put on it. And so Ma, if you are still watching Ma, actually Ma gave me this piece. And so Ma, if you're watching this is one of the French provincial nightstands that you gave us. And I also have a headboard and um, a dresser. And I've got another nightstand and a mirror. Ma was getting rid of. And bless Ma, she had it in her um, garage for months until we could get a chance to get up to her and get it. So, but Ma is not on Facebook. She watches us on YouTube. I saw that she said hi earlier. I didn't know if she was still here or not. You see how it's just blending those colors in, giving it some bling, some bling, bling, baby. Y'all know me, I love me some bling, bling. Love it. Even in those corners, if you see me, sometimes I'm blotting, stippling. Sometimes I'm going in from the edges. I just want to make sure that I am getting in my corners on the end of those diamonds. So you'll see me more of a stippling on those. To make sure I get down without pushing up underneath my corners. There we go. See? Ta da! It's looking fabu. There's not a lot of lilac over that area right there. I do want it a little bit more lilac. So I'm going to go back and add some more. So tell me what you guys are working on. I know Carrie sent me pictures earlier, what she just picked up. She's going to have some work to put into that piece, but it'll be beautiful when she's done. She can't believe she got that picture. She walks in, she sees this picture, an actual photograph. It's not like a magazine or anything. It's an actual photograph, and it's, a, you know, from that time. It's an older photograph, was put on top of this bookshelf, and she has a picture of her mother at the exact same cafe. Talk about, it's a small world after all. So, yeah, can you imagine that? That had to be fate. Yep, that was definitely fate.
but it will be a great, great piece when she's done with it. There we go. I have been in a music state of mind all day, guys. Tell me, how many of you guys listen to music while you're painting and creating? Because I have been, I, I always do, you guys know that. Um, but today has been especially like get in here, crank up the music, put in the earbuds, go for it. It was fate. Carrie said it was fate. Evil girl says nothing yet. She just finished a project, needs a new one. Evil girl, come to Texas. Actually, you can go down to Christina's house. She'd live right down the street from her. Go to Christina. She's got plenty of projects you can help her work on. Yeah, I got to meet uh, Tammy when I was in Georgia. Tammy was actually in Augusta, and she drove like three and a half hours when I was in Georgia to meet up with me and Christina to spend a few hours with us. And then I got to meet Eva Girl, which was a hell of a lot of fun that night. Of course, I was exhausted. That was the night before I left. And, of course, we met the Furniture Duchess, Kathy. It was amazing. So it is nice uh, traveling. You get to meet some of these people. Um, there's a lady named Heather that is a furniture artist up in Wisconsin. And I met her through Gary and Molly Phillips. Uh, she comes in Gary and Molly shop and she is just adorable. I shouldn't say adorable. Heather is not adorable. Heather is a force of nature. She's my people. She is a force of nature. I love her. She's got, just got this great personality. We got to hang out with her German Shepherd. Her German Shepherd is named Greta. Actually met her husband too and her daughter. Just a great family. So it's nice when you get to meet people that you have only heard names of or talked to online. It's great to meet people like that. We've been blessed this year. I've met a lot of people. go we're almost done just got a few more cannot wait and from this angle because I've got the over, my lights are overhead you can really see the bling of this chameleon wax and that's nice. You can really, really see the bling. See, I've got a big comment. Oh, and I know, and possibly uh, has to come in for another surgery. Um, oh, Tammy's back. Hey, Tammy girl. Have you seen the power shell of New Zealand? You're making it look like that. Yes, yes. Um, somebody commented Saturday night that it almost looked like abalone. And um, it does. Uh, I think that if I went a little less with the copper, it would look, or if I didn't have it on the black background, it would look more like the abalone. Um, if I have this on a white background, 
um, I think that it would definitely look more abalone. But since it's on a caviar, you know, it's got a very dark tone. But I think that if I had done this over maybe a fluff cotton, possibly even a drop cloth, that it would very much be, look like abalone. So something to consider when you're using your transfers, decoupage paper is also your base colors because your base colors will also determine um, if you're doing decoupage, if you do it on a bright, a white background, your images are going to look crisper and cleaner and more vibrant. If you decoupage on top of like caviar or your darker colors, then the decoupage paper is going to look a little bit more muted. And so that's something to consider. Same thing with gilding waxes and anything like that. It depends on your base is going to depend upon how you end up. So now I've got my stencil brush. I see a couple places that the edges are a little thick. I'm just going to go back and hit those so my edges aren't muddled up. Even being careful, sometimes it happens. Not a big deal. But you want to get those edges before it dries. Because once it dries, you're done. You will have to go back over and do it again. There we go. So here's the reveal, ladies. There you go. That is the whole top. So the top is done, the sides are done, front's done. All right, so I've got one little spot right there that I don't like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my baby wipe because it is still wet. And I'm going to go right along the side and get that wax up while it's wet with a stark edge. There you go. And that right and right there. And that's where my stencil, I told you guys at the beginning, I don't know what happened to my stencil. It blew off or fell after my Saturday night live, Saturday night live and, um, bent and that's where it bent. So I didn't get a crisp edge on that one. And I must have had gilding wax on my finger because there we go again. All right. So let me show you guys. Let me get some of the stuff off my hand because I, uh, yep. Okay. So let me show you, as you can see, you can see the top. Let me get this out of my tripod again. Hopefully I won't, you know, eek, eek kill myself as I get it off the tripod because I had it on my um, my boom tripod. And so this is one side. This is the side we did today. Here's the front we did this morning. This is the other side we did Saturday night. And look, and there is the top again. And you cannot tell what I did Saturday night and what I did today. So there's no difference. So let me flip you guys around because guess what? Now I can open my Dixie Bell boxes. Yay! Okay. Get this back in my tripod and lock it in because I really do not want it to be fallen. There we go. All right. Be right back. I got to get a knife. I got to get a knife. Believe it or not, I did not put my knife on my hip this morning when I came in because I thought I'd be painting. And so... Rolling me down the highway. All right. So let me grab this.
No, don't fall phone. Thank you, Carrie. Nina says she loves it. Nostalgic looking. I absolutely love, love, love from Carrie. Michelle said heart, heart. Carrie said, I'm so glad you guys like it. So now let's get to the Dixie Bell delivery. Let me pull you guys in. Da, 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 da. See what ooey gooey goodness came in today. So I think this is actually my mud stencil. This is usually how our stencils are delivered. Come on. Y'all are going to see the power of Dixie Bell shipping. Their shipping department ain't no joke. I'm kidding. Their shipping department ain't no joke. Yep. That's my stencil. Come on. Yep. I've got my mud cloth stencils in, guys. I got two of them. So if y'all haven't seen the mud cloth stencil, isn't that pretty? So I got my mud cloth stencil in. Get that off to the side. And the next box, it's like Christmas. I think these are transfers. Looks about the size of transfers. I, I think this is probably transfers. Yay! Because the rest is just paint, and y'all know what that looks like. That's just me restocking with my paint. So these should be the new stencils that were just released. Come on. Man, Dixie Bell ain't no joke when it comes to... Their shipping department is, yeah, it's Fabu. Yay, I was right. Ah! Okay, I got the vintage floral transfers in, guys. Oh, my God. Did y'all see? You know what? Heck with it. Let's roll with this. Because I'm dying to open this and the cherry blossom. So we are going to open these up and we're going to take a look at them. Because I have been waiting for these to come in. You'll see how they're packaged. They come with a transfer tool. A wooden transfer tool. They come bound so they are wrapped up you can just slide this right off the top now let's look oh looky looky they do come with i call them destructions i know technically they're instructions but i call these destructions um, and they are in english in spanish and in french helpful tips are also in english spanish and in french and I can neither conform, confirm nor deny, but I do know who helped Dixie Bell with their Spanish translation. So I, um, let's see here. Uh, they are pretty, it's very different on the back paper than the other DB transfers. Yes, these were actually done by a different manufacturer that um, Dixie Bell um, was trying. And so these are a little bit different. I'm not sure what they're going to do with it, but these are beautiful. So the paper is a little bit different. Um, I love the flowers. I did notice there was no silica packs in the tube. Yeah, there's no silica packs in these. You just have it away on the Spanish. Yeah. Uh, shorty and, um, is the one that helped Dixie Bell. And so this is the first page of the vintage floral. And then let's look at the second page of the vintage floral. 
Can you guys see that? Hey, Fabu. Looky, looky. That is gorgeous. I love the fact that these are cuttable and buildable. You can make your own um, bouquet. You can use them separately. You can put them in corners. You can add them as little. You can paint like a blend and then put them on top to make it look like a, a grove of flowers. Uh, you know, I love them when they're buildable like this because do what you want to with them. And so this one, like with these, even if you didn't want to have the names on it, you can cut the names off and just have the flowers or you could do these and have the names on them as well. And then this are black and white. I love that one. Love it. I love the fact that they're reversed. And a lot of, see, there is the one boot. And then if you flip it over, there's the two boots. Um, a lot of transfer companies don't give you, let me see here, this option here, which is when they face together. So when you put these down, you have the mirror images of each other. That is absolutely wonderful that Dixie Bell did that. Um, a lot of transfer companies, you get them, they only go one way and uh, everything is facing the same way. You can't book in them. You can't mirror them. Um, and so I love that Dixie Bell added that on to that transfer. Love it. So, and then I will show you guys the cherry blossom. Yeah, the boots would definitely be awesome in a military home decor. Yeah, I thought about that. All right, so here we go. Oops. Krista, bad girl, bad bad. I didn't put the transfer tool back in. Bad girl. So transfer tool. It doesn't matter because these are mine anyway. The other, the other ones in the box are for sale, but the ones I'm opening are mine until shorty sees them. They just go, they're ours. No, they're mine. These transfers are mine now. So Uh, the chrysanthemum is my birth flower. Is it really, Tammy? We're on the same brainwave. Yeah. Again, mirrored images. See how these are mirrored? I have no idea what this says. So if it's, you know, I don't even know which way it would go. It'll go any way I put it on. Again, cuttable, buildable. If you wanted to paint your own stems and then use these blossoms on them, see how it's got the blossoms by themselves? Or you could layer these blossoms over top of each other. Oh, these birds are pretty. Oh, yeah, I'm supposed to be showing you guys, right? Sorry. <laughs> so you've got the medallion here. And, of course, more writing. You could cut this up if you wanted to. If you wanted just a, a two block or a three block or, say, a four block, you wouldn't have to use this whole thing. I have no idea what it says, and probably no one else in your house will either. Um, but you could always cut it any way you wanted. Look at this. And they, they just beautiful. This reminds me of the writings that they do on the silk. And so that's what this looks like, is that it was written on the silk. And then, of course, we've got some black and white ones as well. Now, did you know that with transfers on, like, these black and white ones? So...
Okay, guys, I'm back. Sorry. Again, kicked me off. Not sure why. Facebook has been wonky. But the point I was getting ready to say, maybe they didn't know what I was about ready to say and they want me to say it, on these black and white ones, okay? Because if you pull it off, they're not white. It's just black and they're see-through. You see that? So if you were to paint a blend under this, the blend is going to show. Also, what you can do with these is if you've got a very good hand, you can always put the transfer down seal and then go around and actually um, hand paint them. I'm not that good. Um, but I see me doing a blend and then using these black and white ones over the blend. That's what just popped into my head. And so love that. And then the last one. When I saw them, I had to have the cherry blossoms being from D.C. That is one thing I miss being in Texas, the cherry blossoms in the spring. Yeah, I grew up in Virginia. We had cherry trees um, at our house, and I do. I miss the cherry trees. Love it. I have the Japanese writing tattooed on my arm. Okay, Tammy. What does your tattoo say in Japanese? Do you know, or did you walk in and go, I want that one, and you think it means, like, love and live and... Um, you know, I'm the greatest, and then you walk into an Asian restaurant, and it says, you know, wonton soup. Do you really know what it says, or do you know what they told you it says? So, and this is the last page. Again, you see how, because of the size, they have the mirrored image here. And here, and then these are mirrored as well as these, and then the ones here are mirrored as well. Wonderful, isn't it? It says mother daughter. Beck and I have the same one. Laugh out loud. Yes, I definitely know what it says. Have a, had a Japanese guy grab my arm when I worked at a hotel. All right, because I know somebody who went in and did the flip book thing at the uh, tattoo parlor, you know, did the flash thing and said, I want that because he thought it was so cool. Didn't say what it meant. Did not mean the same thing. I can't even say it because Facebook will take my video down. It was bad. It was very bad. He did not get the tattoo he thought he was getting. No. So... Oh, Nina says she knows somebody as well. Yeah, it happens quite frequently. It was actually, uh, I have a friend of mine that is a tattoo artist. And uh, quite frequently it has been, well, in the past, it has been a joke in the tattoo artist world that they would take these and change the meaning in the tattoo parlor because, you know, people are coming in and getting tattoos and they don't know what they mean. And they just think, oh, it'll be cool if I get this. No, it didn't end up being so cool because they got this. It ended up being so bad when someone realized what the tattoo actually meant. May take a year. Could be as soon as you walk out. Could be a year later. But eventually somebody found out and it was not good. Not good. So uh, Carrie says she had to research hers before she got it. Um, it does. We, we did a lot of research before getting it. Um, so the rest of my delivery is, uh, this is just a small delivery. I've got a big one coming in, but I, I ordered the day that these were released to the retailers cause I wanted to get these here. So I just did a smaller order. Should have another big order coming in. I think it's going to be here Thursday or Friday, but I wanted to make sure that these were on the way. And I, you know, get these out the door to me and I'll get the rest of the stuff later. Just get these to me. So I have these in stock for sale, the cherry blossom and the vintage floral. You saw them come in. My loves, it has been wonderful hanging out with you guys. Join me, Christina Thrasher from Repurposeful and Jill Watson tomorrow night on Painting with Whiskey and Women. Um, I don't even know what I'm painting yet. 
I've got a lot of customs, but I don't want to take them in the back of my car and then take them home to work on them because they're big. So, ooh. Give me a second. What do y'all think about this? And I just dropped my glasses. Yay! So this is one that hangs up on the wall. See? Maybe I'll work on this tomorrow. That's what I'm thinking. Work on this tomorrow. So shoot me your ideas, your color ideas, because this is going to be one that's going to be up for sale. This isn't a custom. Um, and it is a plate. It's got the two in there for the plate holders. Um, but I've been meaning to do something with this. I think I might paint this on Whiskey and Women tomorrow and then use it Saturday and use one of my transfers on it, on my Dixie Bell main page. What do you think? Shoot me your ideas. Let me know. Got a few hours before I leave here. And I can grab whatever I need from here in the shop and take it home for painting with whiskey and women tomorrow night at 7 Texas time, y'all. That's 8 Eastern. Much love to you guys. See all my Dixie Belle ooey gooey goodness. And I've got my Miss Lillian's. Yes, baby. All right. So I will see you guys tomorrow night on painting with whiskey and women. Me, Christy, and Jill. Still don't know if Jill got her earbud yet. Hopefully it did so we can fix our audio issue. And much love to you guys. Bye.